this whole project started as a result of meeting Bob Self, who puts on events. And being a maker, it was quite a good match, I think, from the very beginning. And uh, we consulted with Roly Crump, and soon we were on our way to making something unusual. This is a look into the making of Lily's Cabinet of Mystery. Uh, it all started with a antique uh, children's puppet cart, but it was derelict and it had a few mechanical things that I thought would be useful, but by and large they were not used in the final uh, thing. The mechanics were made from scratch, as were the sculptures, uh, and the overall design pretty much made it unrecognizable from the original uh, shape when you have a look at the end of this video. But I thought that people would enjoy seeing how it was made and uh, the various uh, tools and techniques and whatnot that went into it. Uh, this experimental project was something that um, I've actually long dreamed of doing collaborative works with people to show to the public rather than doing parlor pieces or automata that uh, end up being secreted away in private collections, which is something that I've been doing for quite a long time now. Um, this allows the public to be able to see these things without uh, having to uh, have to jump through too many hoops or special access, and that's very satisfying to me. Uh, you can see that uh, this piece is full of an army of little sculptures and mechanical people that lived inside the mouth, and uh, this particular um, uh, part of it was important in that it had to have a certain kind of lighting that um, was, you know, low light situation. Now, Lily's Cabinet debuted at the San Diego Comic-Con in very bright light, but the public still seemed to like it, so uh, I took it back to the shop and refined it and uh, prepared it for the upcoming show at the Oceanside Museum where we had full control over lighting. And the results, I think, were quite outstanding. So this video is for your enjoyment. Uh, to all those who did not get to see it at the Oceanside Museum, she may be coming out again. Uh, it's interesting to note that uh, originally this piece was uh, prototyped in wood uh, with the idea being, I always prototype in wood and then I end up cutting the, the cams and levers out of metal later, uh, but there was not enough time so this, uh, this piece actually went to the museum and ran for, from August to uh, January with absolutely uh, nothing but wooden cams. <laughs> driving it, which is kind of outstanding, I guess, in a way. Um, but uh, it was surprising to me because I was very reluctant uh, to have it go to the museum without having the cams uh, sort of etched in stone. Um, but that is going to change soon, and uh, Lily hopefully will have a new set of cams for the next show when she appears. Coming full circle, Rolly Crump showed up at the opening of the Baby Tattoo Carnival of Astounding Art at the Oceanside Museum, uh, and he had two of his posters on display, uh, along with some magic cups that he had given to me that he had had since he was a child. He learned magic with these cups, and he presented them to me as a gift. They were on display as well. So Rolly Crump provided the cups, and I had to try and provide the balls. Uh, it was a great show. The staff was amazing. And I'll never forget it as long as I live. Without the love of my own Blue moon You knew just what I was there for